in this galaxy is a mathematical probability of three million Earth-type planets. And in all of the universe, three million million galaxies like this. And in all of that, and perhaps more, only one of each of us. Don't destroy the one named Kirk. Captain's log, stardate 3113.2. We were en route to Starbase 9 for resupply when a star of high gravitational attraction began to drag us toward it. It required all warp power in reverse to pull us away from the star. But like snapping a rubber band, the breakaway sent us plunging through space, out of control. Stop here, wherever we are. Don't you tell me I'm an attractive young lady, or ask me if I've ever been in love. Tell me how your planet Vulcan looks on a lazy evening when the moon is full. Vulcan has no moon, Miss O'Brien. I'm not surprised, Mr. Spock. same space at the same time. Indeed. I point out that a hole in the universe or in a simple container can either allow the contents to escape or what is outside to enter. He must be stopped, held, destroyed if necessary. Do you know what you say? I have some questions. If you want help from us, better start telling the truth. Give me one reason why I should listen to you. Excuse me. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. I can only tell you the truth. You're right. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I only know what I can do. Proximity alert, sir. There's a ship at warp heading right for us. Governor of Organia. You are now subjects of the Klingon Empire. I think you're underestimating humanity. Yeah. I'm getting a reading out of the sand. That's going to be rather difficult now. Isn't it, Captain? The battle stations, Mr. Sue. Armed photons, prepare to fire on the Klingon warbirds. Yes, sir. All day. Fire. 
Nothing ever changes. Except man. Now, shall we begin? <laughs>